Good evening. I'm back. Um, it's been uh, about a week, a little bit over a week, and y'all see my situation has changed a little bit. I ended up having um, reconstructive surgery on my shoulder. Um, I had a torn rotator cuff. Um, well, the tendon under the rotator cuff tore. Anyway, I had to have reconstructive surgery on that. Um, but I did want to give you guys an update as to where I am. Because of this, as you can imagine, I'm no longer taking the hydroxy cut, which works out fine because I was pretty much done with it anyway. I lost a total uh, with the entire bottle of 17 pounds. Uh, my neck is not as big as it was. Uh, my hair is back out of my face, so I don't know if I got a good angle for y'all or whatever. But yeah, total 17 pounds uh, down. Um, that is That was with healthier eating and walking um, three to four days a week, up to five miles. I try to get five miles in, but up to five miles. And increasing my water uh, intake um, to a minimum. Of eight glasses most days um, and like I said uh, but I try to do half my body weight um, of water sorry I got only have one hand so uh, that itch um, but I find that it's very 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 important to get the water in because uh, once I started getting the water in on a regular basis I did notice that uh, the bloating went away my stomach went down um, and things started to change besides my skin really started to change or whatever um, which I never had bad skin until I got to be in my 40s I'm 45 and I'm experiencing acne at 45 and I never had anything like that when I went through puberty or went through high school or even in my 20s I didn't have acne I really literally did not get acne outbreaks, uh, pimple here and there until I was in my 40s. Um, so I'll be 46 coming soon in the next two weeks. So um, I wanted to, my goal this uh, year is 46 for 46. I'm going to lose 46 pounds for uh, my 46th year and then uh, healthily maintain it and keep it off. Um, but that's where I stand. Uh, I'm done with the last bottle of HydroxyCut. Now I'm moving on to being active 100 days straight. And what that is, is 100 days of activity, of being mobile, of exercise, at least 30 minutes a day. And right now, I really can't go to the gym. Or if I go to the gym, um, the only thing I would really be able to do was treadmills or leg work and Believe it or not, if I tense up, and you do, you tense up your, your upper body, even when you're working out your legs, it causes all types of pain in my shoulder. You can only see, like, you can see two little band-aids right there. There's another one in the back. But they, that's all they did, and they went in, and they did total reconstruction in there. And I got a big screw going through there some kind of way. Um, and I've hurt myself a few times bumping into walls and stuff like that. And, um, today my cousin was here for, with me for a week, taking care of me. She went back to Fort Worth. So I'm at home, um, during the daytime by myself, but my fiance makes sure that I'm taken care of. The only thing is, is this, I have to count on him for food and he ordered pizza today. So, um, I'm hoping, he, he said he cut up some watermelon for me, so I'm probably going to eat watermelon and boiled eggs for breakfast and lunch tomorrow, but I um, can't eat pizza every day, and I felt ick, because I hadn't been eating anything like that for a while, I felt really yuck um, afterwards. I actually had to take nausea medicine because I hadn't been eating grease or anything like that. Um, 
and I really don't want to go back to it if it's going to ever make me feel like I feel now. I could totally live without it. But um, he's not big on making me vegetables. And I really want some green beans or some asparagus or some broccoli or some Brussels sprouts or a salad. So if you're in Austin or close to Austin, hit your girl up. Hook your girl up. I need a vegetable. I need a vegetable. So... <laughs> But that's that. Just wanted to give y'all an update. Um, I'm going to be in this thing. uh, I think. About another three, four weeks. It's been a week now. And I have to sleep in it and everything. And it is miserable. But. um, I don't think I have to stay in it the whole six weeks. I might. uh, But I don't think I do. Because I can move my fingers. So I'm hoping that um, eventually I can get to where I can work because that's all I need is to move my fingers and school starts back next week. So, yeah, I got to figure something out. I guess I'm going to be Uber into school. But anyway, God bless. Thank you for uh, going on this journey with me. I'm not done. I'm going to keep making videos and letting you know my progress because, like I said, 46 for 46. My birthday is April 12th. I will be 46 and starts the second part of my journey. All right. Thank you. God bless. And thank you for being my accountability partners.